Um, both my parents are Catholic. My mother's a Catholic from Mauritius, um, and being from the global south, she, you know, her religion is very dear to her. And my father is British Irish, um, so he's also religious, but in his own way. Um, living in the UK, being raised here in a society that's becoming more and more apathetic towards religion. Um, but as as a child, I was very much encouraged to go to the church on Sundays mainly, um, and also to go to Sunday school. Um, when you go to church, it's very much um, like formalities, so to speak. Um, you listen to the priest for an hour, you engage in some kind of um, um, singing and reading of the Bible, and then you leave. And the faith I felt at the time didn't allow me to fully articulate a relationship with God in a very pronounced time of need. So I began like, slowly drifting away from Christianity as the years went by in my teenage years and eventually reached a, a point where not only did I experience this kind of um, lack of intimacy from the church, but I also, I also had a number of questions about the religion. So the, the nature of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Um, as you know, in the Christian tradition, in the Catholic tradition, Jesus is seen as, as God, so to speak. So this, this, this confused me, um, this, this confused me tremendously. And what's more, I felt like I didn't have that guidance in the life what to do, what not to do. And, and with the things going on at home, I felt like there was no clear kind of hikmah in the religion as to put me on the straight path. I went to college, studied politics at college. And at this time, um, that happens, I made a lot of friends from the region while, that's, while at college. And they became incredibly close friends very quickly. And they also gave me an exposure to Islam through the friendship circle that we had that I'd never seen before. I'd never seen really I, I never knew anything about Islam. And then once I have this circle of friends, I start to slowly become interested in the religion that they are practicing collectively. And especially because I was the odd one out. <laughs> so from the heart of a politics student, I wanted to learn more about the religion that's become like suddenly gone to public news and on TV and BBC. And I went to Abu Dis. It was completely different. It was completely different. Just seeing the impact of Islam on people, on people that were suffering under brutal occupation, in seeing the almost the, the, the beauty of Islam through waking up to the Adhan, going to the different masajid. And I had never experienced this in the UK. And what's more, I felt like the way people were talking to me about Islam also shifted. And slowly, slowly, I started to kind of learn more about the religion, which at the time was still very foreign to me, to be honest with you. But that trip in Palestine, the seeds were planted, mm. the seeds were planted. And my conception of Islam, um, rather than it being an abstract religion that, that I didn't know much about, that has bad PR in the UK, um, that nobody had really spoken to me about, it changed. And I felt kind of this, this religion has a real ability to optimize one's existence mm. and to give people guidance, and it's especially in times of difficulty. And I, and I saw how almost how all encompassing the religion was how it affected different parts of social life and, and, and private life. Whereas Christianity for me at the time was a very kind of laissez-faire concept where I would go to church and I, I did go to church and, and, and just leave and forget about it. So I finished university and I'm having another, um, just a, a low moment in the life. And I woke up one day and I said, I have to take my shahada. And it, it, it was just like a natural feeling that today I woke up and I feel ready to do it. Alhamdulillah.